Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Chungat Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to change the trunk lid switch on a Chevy Cruze. The, the trunk lid switch on my Chevy Cruze failed because of moisture entering the switch. It is not properly weather sealed. As you see, this is the switch and I'm going to replace this and I'm going to show you how to replace it. And the second part I'm going to replace today is the third brake light. The third brake light also failed on my Chevy Cruze and this is the third brake light. I checked the continuity of this board here, the IC board, and I found to be infinite in the resistance, so I figured out that it is bad. So I'm going to replace the third brake light switch on my Chevy Cruze. So let's go and see how it is done. So guys, we are going to see some of the tools we are going to use today. Um, let's uh, let's see what we have here. We have a crimping tool and we have a tool to remove all the, the locks for the trim. We have a small flat tip screwdriver. We have a magnetic multipurpose screwdriver. We have a T15 Torx and another Torx screwdriver. We got a ratchet, small ratchet wrench. So these are the tools we will use for doing this job. Okay guys, so, so this is the issue. Press the brake. You see, it's very faint. So that is not bright. That's not bright enough for the, so somebody following me to see. It's very, very light, the color. The brightness is very little, so it's it's not good. So I'm going to put the new brake light and I'll show you how it works. So that's how you connect the brake light and now turn it on. So now you see guys how bright it is. This is how bright it should be. So the somebody following me can see, see the light. So you see the difference between the other light and this light. So this is how the light should work. Oh and now I'm going to show you how to fix it. Let's go. So this is how the third brake light sits on a Chevy Cruze, guys. And you know, like, it's got a small tab here. So make sure the front tabs go in and insert the small tab and it is seated. And there are two screws and I'll show you where the two screws go to fasten the light. So you see this hole, guys? So here goes one and the other one goes here. So we have to fix both the screws using a magnetic screwdriver and then it should be good. so see guys so that's how bright it should be so now it is working perfectly okay so guys this is the glove which holds the uh, trunk in place so what you have to do is you can use this tool to pull the center pull it like that and then pull the whole one out So once that is the center pin is out, you can remove the pin like that. Same with this one. I can just remove this one. Yes, just to press it. Some old it goes over the lock. And there it is. You can see that now. So 
normal here. So don't lose this. You need to lose that. Take that together. Stop it. There are two screws here. That's all. So there are two screws here. So remove those. And that's it. So these are the clips we remove and these are the spots we remove them from. We got two more screws here to remove. So once these two screws are removed this entire trim will come out and then you can see where the switch is connected. There are two 9mm nuts here inside, you got to remove that. For that I use this socket and ratchet, 9mm and that should remove the switch. I disconnected the wire here, it goes to the switch. Maybe we have to do some crimping. Okay. So the two nuts are out. There's a well seal. So this is the switch guys on the back side. So you got the four tabs here. One, two, three. You just remove the tab and that will that should bring it out. And you cut the two wires here and then join the new switch and uh, heat shrink it and it should be good. So thanks for watching guys, so everything is back, everything has been assembled in the reverse order of disassembly and yeah it works fine.
that's it it's working now thanks for watching see you in the next video